Hello, my name is Tim. My company is Sports and Touring. We are Jaguar F-Type specialists, and it's a great pleasure to show you this beautiful car. It's an October 2015 5-litre V8R, and the unusual thing about it is that it is rear-wheel drive. It's from that time before all the 5 litres went over to all-wheel drive, and therefore it offers that intoxicating combination of enormous amounts of power and performance and classic rear-wheel drive handling. This really is a very special machine indeed. It's in great condition too. It looks stunning. The colour palette of Polaris white with black pack with panoramic roof and it's sitting on 20 inch gloss black Tornado alloy wheels. Let's take a look around. One of the very striking things about the Jaguar F-Type is that its look depends so much on the colour and options specified on a particular car. And one of my favourite aesthetics is exactly this one. Glossy Polaris white with black pack on 20 inch black wheels and with the panoramic roof, which means that we have this beautiful punctuation line as the A pillar runs towards the back of the car really making for a very attractive look indeed and accented by the black detailing of the vents, by the red brake calipers front and rear, the tail lights, number plate and those beautiful quad chrome exhaust pipes all stand out on this white canvas and make for a very good looking thing indeed. And this particular car is in stunning condition. It's clearly been looked after. It's clearly been an enthusiast's car. It hasn't been a daily driver. Uh, it's been correctly washed and polished. It hasn't any signs of going through those awful mechanical car washes. Everything about it is in splendid order with very few signs indeed of this car's age. And it comes with a range of great options too. Let's take a look inside. The car comes, of course, with two remote key fobs and the owner's book pack, but there's no need to have the key fob in your hand because one of the options on this V8 is keyless entry. The little button there on the door handle enables us to unlock the car and we see the power fold mirrors move into place and then we can open the door and look at this beautiful interior. Finished in jet with this white ivory stitching and in such good condition. Performance seats there with the R logo on the headrest, of course, and everything about it from the scuff plate here, which is unblemished. It's exactly perfect. There is not a mark on it anywhere. The carpets are perfect. The seat is unworn. The cockpit from the dashboard through the centre console, door cards and so forth, is in fabulous order. Options on the car include Meridian sound and the full electric memory seat package. Very desirable things indeed. Sitting down into the F-Type is an immersive experience. Here we are in this beautiful cockpit. It is ergonomically very good. It's aesthetically fabulous as well. I love the mixture of technology and art. Things like this lovely sweeping hand grip, which punctuates between the center console and the passenger footwell. The equipment in the car is super, of course. Um, going around the cockpit, we've got a handy stowage between the headrests. <clears throat> Stowage again in the centre console along with the USB socket, auxiliary socket for the audio system and 12 volt supply. There's the twin cup holder there and then buttons for the eco stop start. The deployable spoiler which goes up and down as you reach certain speeds but can also be selected up manually. Very important to do that when you're going to wash an F-Type so that you don't end up with uh, an area of the car that is missed traction control off and the switchable sports exhaust as well which is selectable there or also comes on in dynamic mode we'll talk about that more in just a moment starting the f-type is on the push button of course so we'll get the engine running we'll see the 
instrument panel do its little self-test flying display. We hear that lovely exhaust note and then you see the centre console rising up into position so that it can supply us with fresh air from the climate control system. Pulling the door shut and we can see that the engine is over revving slightly at the moment. It does that to protect the catalytic converters. Uh, in a moment or two, it'll reduce to its normal uh, idle RPM. And back to the center console where we have this beautiful shift stick. It's a great thing to hold in your hand. It's ergonomically, again, fabulous. Pull the trigger at the front and then move it rearwards, puts us into drive. We can pop it to the left into sport and that enables you to shift up and down using the shift stick. You've always, of course, got the flappy paddles on the steering wheel so you can change gear without taking your hands off the steering wheel, uh, which is a much safer and more precise way of driving, naturally. Uh, back here into the centre console and we have the driving mode selector. So here we can select dynamic mode, which sets the car up for dynamic driving back into our normal mode. And then we have rain, ice and snow as well. On a lot of cars, that's almost a kind of ornamental mode. It doesn't really do anything useful, but on the F-Type Jaguar and particularly the rear wheel drive five litre, I really do commend its use in slippery conditions. It calms the throttle response down enormously and does various other clever things, which makes the car much more controllable on a slick surface. We've got the climate control system here, uh, independent temperature for passenger and driver, the dual zone climate there, and the electrically heated front windscreen, which is a great feature in the winter for clearing ice or mist off the windscreen. The infotainment system, as in all F-types, is very fully featured indeed. Uh, the home menu here takes us through the various options, audio, video, which includes FM and DAB radio, uh, music input from your Bluetooth device and video as well, and Bluetooth um, audio, which means you can stream from your phone, for example, Spotify or the BBC Sounds app and so forth. Back to the home menu and we can access the navigation screen, which is a very fully featured satellite navigation system uh, with a very clear display there. And it gives you prompts as well on the instrument cluster itself while you're driving. <clears throat> Back over here, we'll see the phone screen. Uh, that is the Bluetooth telephony, which gives you um, hands-free dialing and so forth while you're on the move. Uh, very clear and crisp audio in the F-Type. A lot of cars suffer when they're trying to uh, enable you to use the phone on the move, but the F-Type is splendid in that regard. Over onto the steering wheel and we've got the audio and Bluetooth controls on the left. Automatic headlamps on the left as well. Over on the right, the cruise control and speed limiter and the rain sensitive wipers. And then that beautiful instrument binnacle which gives you the clear indication of speed and rpm the two most important factors in driving a performance car and uh, at the moment we've got the gear showing because we're in sport mode and we can see as well that we're in uh, ice rain and snow mode i'll just show you what happens when we select dynamic uh, and the screen turns red there to indicate that you are now in full-on tutti fruity driving mode you've left the vanilla world behind it's a great place to sit, a fabulous looking cockpit, a very comfortable cockpit as well. Um, the range of adjustments on these seats means it's very easy to have them set up exactly as you need them for a long journey. And you can adjust the side bolsters as well to hug you if you're cornering hard, or maybe you're even taking your car onto a track. Uh, it is a beautiful place and this example in such very fine condition indeed. I'm looking carefully to see if I can find any signs of age or wear and it really is impossible to do so. Another feature I should mention of course the panoramic roof above us there which lets the light flood in. If the sun gets too much though just slide the screen across and you have some shade in the cockpit instead. We'll switch the engine off and take a look in the boot. The rear end of the F-Type is a very imposing looking thing indeed, isn't it? Especially the V8 with those beautiful quad tailpipes. And if the spoiler is up, and I've left the spoiler up here just to show you how clean this car is 
in that area under the spoiler. It's clearly been cleaned correctly. The spoiler's been put up each time it's been washed and valeted and detailed, and it looks very good indeed. And another feature on this particular F-Type is the powered tailgate. So we press a button on the remote or the button just under the spoiler, and that lifts the tailgate up automatically to reveal quite a large space, over 300 litres in fact, and that is impressive for a two-seat coupe. It extends out at the sides behind the rear wheels and that means you can get golf clubs or fishing rods in if you're into those activities. As long as you pack soft bags, plenty of room for several weeks away on holiday, maybe a fabulous tour of Europe. Friends of mine have just uh, been down to Italy and indeed Malta in their F-Type V8 and they had a tremendous trip and had no problems at all fitting their luggage in or indeed a number of things that they wanted to bring back with them, bottles of wine and souvenirs and so forth. Again, closing the tailgate is just a matter of pressing the button and down it comes on those powered rounds and locks into place. The passenger side of this car is every bit as good as the driver's side. Again, a beautiful door card with that lovely twin stitching punctuating the leather and the performance seat in stunning order. Everything about this car is truly fabulous. Again, the scuff plate has no signs at all of contact with a human boot in the life of the vehicle. Under the bonnet, and there is the power plant. 550 horsepower from a supercharged V8. And that is enough through the eight-speed automatic gearbox to propel this car from 0 to 60 in just four seconds and on to 186 miles per hour. It's not just, though, a car about figures and numbers. It's a car about the connection between driver and machine and road. The F-Type is a car which was so carefully designed, so inherently very good as a handling and performance car. And then with the addition on this F-Type R of configurable dynamics, which mean you can set the car up as you wish in the cockpit. The electronic active differential, and by the way, the differential oil was changed very recently on this car. And the torque vectoring by braking, they are all clever additional bits of science and technology which Jaguar added to the F-Type R and which make it the thrilling driving machine that it is. And this example, again, just to point out how good it is, the paint there is fabulous. Ceramic coated in April 23 and in very good order. And under the bonnet here, everything is just as it should be. This car has great service history. Uh, we can take you through all of the detail of that. It's passed all of our technical inspections without a single hitch and it drives absolutely perfectly. So thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a pleasure to show you this beautiful F-Type. We are sports and touring. We're just outside Andover in Hampshire. We're open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to telephone, email or WhatsApp us with any inquiries or if you'd like to arrange to see this car or any of our other F-Types. Um, we can send you a link to the Google Drive where you can see high resolution photos that you can zoom in on and PDF copies of important documents as well. If you've got a car that you need to dispose of, then we'll give you frank and honest advice about the best way to achieve the best price with the minimum inconvenience, whether part exchange, selling privately or what have you. And if you'd like to chat about finance, we can do that as well because we're authorised and regulated by the FCA and we're partnered with FinSet, who are a great broker and will be very helpful to you. I hope you'll take a few moments to read our reviews on Auto Trader. We're very proud indeed of how our previous customers uh, speak about us and I do look forward to hearing from you very soon.